And so, ladies and gentlemen, to this evening's finale. Uh, we really, really hope you've enjoyed your evening with us um, and that you might indeed want to hear the band again. Yes? There's a very easy way you can do that, you know. There's a very easy way you can do that. Um, I know there was great disappointment at the interval because such was the depth of the sea of bodies at the CD table that a number of people by the time the second half was due to start hadn't managed to actually get to the table. So I know there was great disappointment. So uh, as a special concession for you this evening, this is serious, gentlemen, this is a serious concert. Uh, the, the CDs will still be on sale uh, in, in the foyer towards those back doors uh, after the concert. And to any of you that are sitting there now thinking, I just used my last tenor at the bar in the interval. We're a very forward thinking band. And we do accept payment by card. Um, so the CDs are on sale at the end of the concert. Ladies and gentlemen, our finale this evening has become somewhat, uh, really, of a, of a brass band classic. It is, I think, musical picture painting at its absolute best. Uh, I think it was 1924, this date, from the composer Ottorino Respighi. There's a great trilogy of pieces he wrote for huge orchestral forces, it has to be said. Uh, the Pines of Rome, the Fountains of Rome, and Roman festivals. And our finale this evening comes from the Pines of Rome. Uh, you will hear an army in the distance. It's, it really is, starts with muffled footsteps way, way in the distance and closely followed by uh, distant fanfares. And of course, gradually, these footsteps and fanfares come closer and closer and closer until uh, the volume and the colour opens up to create the real blaze of, of, of brightness, really from, I think, the sun reflecting off all the armour of the Roman legions returning to the capital in triumph. Ladies and gentlemen, we really hope you enjoy this. I know you've heard it many, many times, but for me, no matter how many times I conduct this, no matter how many times I ever played it, it still had incredible impact. And in this fabulous building and this great acoustic, I know it's going to do the same this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pines of the Appian Way.
You may or may not have noticed, ladies and gentlemen, we had two very special friends with us this evening. One's silver and one's gold. So it just so happens we have a little something with us that lasts about three and a half minutes. It's a fantastic march by Major George Wilcox. And it's all because of those. Very, very safe journey home, ladies and gentlemen. We really hope you've enjoyed the evening and we really hope that we're sending you home with a smile on your face and a CD in your pocket. <laughs>